Hey Leo, welcome to your love reading for mid-September 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is going to be general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's signs, or you can book a personal reading with me. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. So let's see, what is going on with Leo? Second half of... September. All right, and the overall energy here is adjacent possibilities. All right, so there are some options um, possibly presenting themselves, <clears throat> or somebody is really thinking about which alternative to take when it comes to the situation between the two of you. So let's get into this and see. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, second half of September. Okay. For the situation, we have the Ace of Swords crossed by the Moon. Recent past, the Six of Swords, Near Future, the Seven of Cups. For your energy, the Four of Swords for them, the Ace of Pentacles. For you, the Chariot for them, the Ten of Cups, and potential outcome, all right, the Five of Cups. All right, Leo. There is... Um, I feel like there's some action here that somebody wants to take, something that somebody wants to do. Um, this could be you or your person, but there's a lot of a lot of fear surrounding that action or some doubt surrounding that action. I feel like there has definitely been some distance between the two of you um, in the past, so this could actually be like literal, like physical distance. Uh, maybe somebody moved away or maybe somebody left this connection, or it could just be that it just feels like there might be some kind of um, drifting, there was a drifting apart. Um, you're moving really quickly um, when it, in terms of your healing, all right? Um, I feel like you're really moving possibly in a new direction, and this could be because you, you're already healing certain aspects of this connection. Um, We'll see more when we clarify. This person, though, is somebody who does want some kind of a new beginning with you and is somebody who does hold a lot of love for you. So again, we're going to have to clarify and see exactly what is going on here. Having the Seven of Cups showing up in the near future, this is this adjacent possibilities. All right, I feel like options are beginning to present themselves. Um, but there's also some grief that is showing up here. So let's get into this and see. That grief could be anything. Um, it could be a sense of loss. It could be some guilt. Maybe that somebody is feeling. <clears throat> Don't draw any negative conclusions until we clarify. All right, so let's see. Leo, what is going on here? Let's see the Ace of Swords crossed by the moon. Alright, we have the Knight of Swords, the Six of Swords showing up again, and the Fool. Yeah, so somebody is really wanting to take a leap of faith here. Um, this is a lot of action here, moving in a specific direction. What is this fear? I feel like in order for some, it's almost like in order for somebody to move forward, something else needs to be left behind. Um, and that's where this fear is coming into play here, possibly, even though, yeah, the Six of Swords here is giving me a different vibe than the Six of Swords that was in the recent past.
Let me get deeper into this. Let's see the Four of Swords. The Three of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. So this is for your energy. All right, yeah, so there's still some pain here. There's still some pain that you are um, trying to recover from or still processing. I feel like you feel possibly like you have been betrayed in one way or another in some sense. And this is a connection where you totally felt like you could have had this Ten of Cups, right? Like a happy family or feeling um, like, you know, this was going to be a forever and ever story, right? The other person is feeling that way about you still. I feel like for you, you feel like that dream or that um, idea has been betrayed in some way and this has created a lot of pain for you. So it could even be, it, it really depends on the situation. For some of you, it could be that it is you um, trying to move in a specific direction, possibly away from this, but there's also some fear holding you back as you heal. For others of you, I feel like it is this person th that you are dealing with where it could be that they feel like it is a risk. It's a risk to move away from a situation here that they have possibly created for themselves and they would need to move away from that in order to resolve this conflict and it, for whatever reason it feels risky. There's definitely this drive though, this person want, wanting to move forward, but like I said, there's, there's a lot of fear surrounding this um, movement. Again, it feels like for this particular person it would be a risk. At least that's how they perceive it, alright, if this is them. And I do get the same sense for you, you know, that you feel like, you know, moving away from this connection, allowing yourself to move away from it could feel like, like you're just jumping into the unknown, not knowing where that's going to take you. And that can feel a little bit scary. All right. Some of you might also be dealing with a Pisces here, or maybe you have strong Pisces in your chart for some of you. All right. Let's see. Let's see this chariot because I do see you moving. You're taking some action here. It's All right, the Two of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles showing up for you. All right, I see. You're not really sure where you're going. <laughs> That's the thing. I feel like you're determined to move in a in a new direction, in a different direction, trying to set up something new for yourself, trying to get into this mentality of, all right, you know what, like I just need to do something different here. And so I feel like you're trying to think of different ways um, of what it is that you can do differently in order to help you along when it comes to this connection or this person. And you're, you're determined and it could be that, you know, you're kind of trying to block out this person in a way. Um, trying to get yourself to feel detached while looking in a new direction, but it almost comes in as like, you're not even really sure where you're going or how, how to do this. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this Ace of Pentacles. There's a lot of mirroring here. Because look at this, you um, you have the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles together. They have the King of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like the more clarity that you have and the more that you can um, get yourself to try to be determined and really know what it is that you want, being clear in that as opposed to not really knowing where you're going or what you're doing, um, it's almost like that person is following in your footsteps here. All right, they have the King of Swords and the Three of Wands clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. They're determined here for a new path as well. 
Um, I have a feeling that this is actually towards you, all right? Because we also have the Ten of Cups here. They want to move towards love. They want a new beginning with you. You're trying to find a new beginning, I feel, without them. But there's also some procrastination here. There's something that this person is waiting on. Let's see that Ten of Cups. Seven of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Page of Swords. Yeah, why is this person holding back? There's, there's, um, there's some procrastination here, which I'm trying to figure out what it is that is going on. Because I see this person um, really being interested in what it is that you're going on, being curious, possibly following you um, on social media or asking other people about you, trying to find out information for you. They're definitely feeling this urge to come, to have a come back together, all right? I feel like this is somebody that you have been with in the past. There seems to be some distance between the two of you now. I feel like they want to kind of like re-spark that because they do feel like they could have this either like a happy family with you, even if that means just the two of you, all right? It doesn't necessarily have to involve children. But the it's like this person sees you as, as family. But there's something here that is happening with them that where there is a little bit of an avoidance or kind of um, hesitating when it comes to taking um, more direct action towards you. And so at the moment, they're just either asking about you or doing some research on you or just trying to figure out what it is that you are doing. So there's a little bit of a, um, like I said, procrastination here. And we're not getting the specifics because this is a general reading. Um, and this could be also, you know, related to the fact that they are hesitating here, feeling like it would be a risk for whatever reason to... Um, to make a bigger move towards you. So let's see the Seven of Cups because I feel like options are beginning to present themselves. Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, yeah, so definitely, definitely it's this person coming in here. Um, emotionally or trying to figure out these um, possibilities, trying to decide which door to take in order to come forward towards you, okay? So that is what is coming up here. There's um, a little bit of weighing out the options for how to come, come forward with some kind of an emotional offer or to express some emotions here. So let's see why we have the Five of Cups for the potential outcome. We have the Ace of Swords, which is actually the very first card um, that we started out the reading with, and the Emperor. All right, yeah, so there is um, some regret here. I feel like whatever it is that is happening, this person coming in, I feel like there's going to be some regret. There's going to be um, possibly just some feelings of loss, especially if if somebody needs to walk away from something else, as we're seeing here with the Six of Swords taking a risk, there is um, some sadness that is going to be attached to all of this, all right, and to the action. But what I'm getting here with this Emperor is that I feel like for the both of you, there, this is something that can be overcome. I feel like it's all a matter of you being able to find control over your own life and the direction that you are trying to take. And then there's this action, right, that is coming in. Yes, there's some sadness involved, possibly something to do with the past. It could be some regret concerning the past. Um, but I definitely see this Ace of Swords actually coming through here, all right? And we have the Emperor attached to that. So, yes, be prepared for possibly a little bit of... Um, it, it feels like when when and if this happens, there's there's going to be a little bit of a depressed mood because of 
possibly things that have happened in the past so there might need to be a resolution or a working through of the past and somebody feeling some guilt about something that they that has happened in the past all right but again this isn't something that cannot be overcome it definitely can be overcome all right leo so if this resonated let's get the final message for you and please give me a thumbs up if it did and if not that's okay it just wasn't your story all right and we have traveling lightly simplify your life all right, for some of you, I'm actually getting that there might actually be traveling involved, like literally. Um, we also have cancer showing up here. I didn't mention that before. Um, simplify your life. You know, there's no need to overthink things here, right? There might be some overthinking when it comes to the direction that you are taking and in not knowing where you're going. So... Yeah, that is it, Leo. I hope this made sense, and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.